straight to a Fox News alert. President Trump threatening to shut the southern border as soon as today. And the president just two minutes ago tweeted this. Democrats working with Republicans in Congress can fix the asylum and other loopholes quickly. We have a major national emergency at our southern border. Get her done now. So is the right move we need to get action on the border, shutting down the border? Here to weigh in, GOP Senator Marsha Blackburn. Senator, Morning. this is going to hurt people on both sides, but the president wants to send a message. Both sides of the border, Americans and Mexicans. What we need to realize is until we close that southern border, every town's a border town, every state's a border state, because drugs, human trafficking, sex trafficking, gangs, it's all there on the southern border. Mm -hmm. So the president is right about this. Mexico needs to secure their southern border to end entry into Mexico. And then we do need to do some things there, getting uh, Border Patrol what they need to do their job. Sure. And the president, to his point in the tweet, accurately says, look, the problem essentially is the laws. That's right. And the reason the laws are messed up is because of the way people in Congress wrote them. If the Democrats came together with the Republicans, they would give him a win. And so that's the last thing they want to do. Which is so unfortunate because this is a national security emergency. Mm -hmm. This is a national emergency. Well, who can you and team with, with on the Democratic side? Who could you walk over to with and say, can we address this like adults? Brian, I'm going to tell you, every Democrat should come forward and work with us because this is in our interest to secure it, to get to stop these drugs coming into our country, to stop the sex trafficking, to stop these gangs. This is something that needs to be done because they continue to come mm -hmm. across the border until we get that barrier. They're going to put their foot on U.S. soil and say asylum. Wow. And our border patrol is overrun. Now, I met with the U.S. CIS director on Friday, and one of the things that he told me is how difficult it is. They do not have the resources they need, whether it's a DHS or ICE or U.S. CIS. They don't have the resources they need. And the border patrol reassigned 750 agents in February, took them away from the border, and moved them to dealing with the migrants. Mm -hmm. So what happens? then. All the cartels, which are big business, they know where the border agents are going, so they go five miles down sure. the border, mm -hmm. and they're running the drugs It's so in. frustrating as, as citizens to watch what's happening, because if yes. we go out of the country and we come back in, we have to go through customs, we have to show a passport. These folks aren't citizens, and they walk right over, and they're allowed to stay. The president said, we're not going to pay for those three countries anymore. We're not going to pay for them anymore, because they haven't done a thing for us. Do you agree with him? Should he cut off funding? Yes, I agree with that. This is a this is a national emergency. The border needs to be secured. Mexico needs to work with us. We need to work right. with Guatemala, El I Salvador. I hear Guatemala Honduras. is somebody that wants to work with us, but it's Nicaragua and El Salvador that seems to be giving us a stiff arm. Is that correct? What we need to do is say all of them have to come to the table on this, and this has to stop. We cannot continue the Border Patrol. I ask how the morale was mm -hmm. with our Border Patrol. It's very low right now. And you can imagine if you're going out every day to do your Absolutely. job, you do not have the resources to do your job. You can't get a border. You right. can't get additional yeah. agents or technology. It makes it tough. Well, we're hitting critical mass. Something's got to give. All right, Senator, yeah. thank you very much for thank joining us. Thank you so much. Good to be with you. All right. Have you here.